So what's up, y'all? I just pulled into my parking spot. Um, this is downtown New Orleans, about as urban as it gets for my area. Um, this is for the urban, urban challenge set by Jay and Knight. And uh, tonight, just to switch things up, I'm gonna be sleeping in my car. Let me show you these deluxe accommodations. Oh, the beverage center. I'm gonna walk around with that. I'm gonna not have any adult beverages in the car. Um, it's a, a cooling, like, sleep thingy. I got my Thermarest pillow. Um, in case I get cold, I have the bestie blanket. Um, let, let me show you the bathroom. I got a, a change of shirt in case I get sweaty. Um, a big ass ring fan with a light. Thanks for the idea of this as a crew fly hiking. This is my bathroom set up so I don't have to crawl out the car. And uh, it can hold approximately 48 ounces. But yeah, I'm going uh, to go walk the streets, go get me some beignets, get some pretty good views for y'all. And then closer to dark or at dark, I'm going to come crawl back in here and I might do a live tonight. So yeah, this is the no build deluxe camper set and this is what's kind of crappy y'all is like oh also right here like if I push that seat forward I have a big gap so how I'm gonna sleep I'm gonna have my head that way and my feet up against the seat and for my power needs I have my Jackery 1000 but this is the setup for tonight y'all so let me get to walking and get to filming some shots. Thank you, Jay and Knight, for setting this challenge. SCA. What, what? Downtown New Orleans. What, what? Yowzers. Let me not drop my phone. But as you can see, um, I think eight stories up. Some pretty cool views. Does this count as a rooftop cell camp? I don't think so. Oh my God, y'all. So I, I don't feel like I'm afraid of heights, but looking down gives me kind of the willies. Let's get another view. So we worked a right around here, y'all, and uh, put in two vault tops. And we had some like parking passes and I always wanted to stove camp this, but I didn't want to ruin the parking pass thing. But now that would finish the job. Now I can do it. But in about two seconds, I'm going to show you all the vault tops we did. And I'm about to crack my first step too. Because around here you can walk around with a beer. The open laws kind of... Open container law. Just don't have it in a vehicle. Downtown New Orleans, yeah. So this is vault top number one that we did. This little thing right here with these grates. And also, we did this little vent right here. And uh, we broke up all the tile and then we had another company come and lay it. The other one's right up here and take a left. If you're ever in the um, downtown New Orleans area around Canal Street and are looking for a hat, they have every size, shape, color. Go to Maya the Hatter on St. Charles. It's, it's badass. And they actually have hats that fit my big head. But yeah, working my way towards Canal. So I've been walking for a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. It's real hard to film downtown. Every place is playing copyrighted music, so I gotta bebop from place to place and i think right now where i'm going is uh is to get some beignets 
So just a little New Orleans history while I'm walking around enjoying a daiquiri. You see that right there? That is uh, the oldest cathedral in North America at 230 years old. I know to some UK people, England people, that's just a drop in the bucket. But it's something special around here. It's called the St. Louis Cathedral. And it's on the banks of the mighty Mississippi, right over that way. Yeah, enjoying playing tourists before I I go back to the car. I think that's Joan of Arc. I think. Don't quote me. That is a cool statue. No, that's not Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc is a little bit further down. Damn it. Let me see what it is. Hello, buddy. Mighty Mississippi. It's a bridge I go over twice a day. Right about there. Then the aquarium's right over there. Boy, the wind feels good. The, um, so this is called the Moonwalk, but I've seen it where the river's been about up to there. So right now it's coming up because it's springtime. And uh, the last couple of years it's been pretty low. So, um, I may recommend <laughs> if you make it down to the little old city I've made a living in and uh, it's got a lot of problems but it's got a lot of charm y'all um, I recommend I don't know the origin of them but I think it's kind of famous for down here but uh, you go get you some Cafe Du Monde <laughs> and get you some beignets they're like big uh, Powdered sugar covered dough donuts. Check out this big tanker ship cruising by, y'all. Oh, that thing's massive. Now back to about New Orleans. Um, we're known for a lot of things as a party city and uh, a place to let loose. But we have a giant homeless population and transient population. And the reason I'm in a parking garage is because uh, we've also been known as the uh, we've been on the top of the list. How do I say it? A bad thing, you know. For a little while we were like the murder capital and we're, we're up there in the top list of violent cities so that's why I'm not pitching a tent because there's a along this part of the river where I'm at there's a bunch of nice places but generally it's filled up with uh, people who need it so you know so that's why I'm in a parking garage I feel a little bit safer up all the way up top and I'll be able to get a good night's sleep. So come down south, get you a daiquiri <laughs> and a beignet. Thank you, Jay and Knight, for getting me to spend the night in the city. I don't know if y'all have them where you're at, but get you a daiquiri. This one's a cotton candy blade. Check out this big, a fella just told me he's in the uh, tugboat and barge industry and that's, um, that is like a, a barge unloader. You see all the clam buckets right there in between the two cranes and then there's a traco and a bobcat on the deck. So that's pretty cool. But just a little bit more New Orleans knowledge. Um, over there, that's Algiers Point. And uh, it's part of Arlene's Parish on West Bank, but out from it is the deepest part in the river, supposedly. And uh, the last time I read about it, it said it's supposedly 
in this bend of the river right here by the GNO. It's supposedly 250 foot deep, the deepest part of the river. And another little side note, I can't remember if it was this span or the span on the other side, but I think back in the 80s, I think it was, my dad had a hand in building it with the company that I now work for. You know, it, it was one of his more proudest things to say I had a part of building the GNO, you know, or the Crescent City Connection, whatever you want to call it. Yes. Oh man, what a beautiful oak tree. Looks like fingers, look. It, it's not quite as big as the one at the zoo that I showed y'all last week, but this still a beautiful oak tree that's seen a lot of stuff. Outlasted a lot of storms. It has a raggedy charm, but a beautiful charm. All these like row houses and semi-unique architecture. It, it's, it's cool. And no places to pee. So you better be ready to whip it out in between a car. So y'all, I'm back at camp. I just got off the phone talking with my wife. Always on these stealth camps, whether it be car in the middle of the woods or by the house, I let her know where I'm camping at. And uh, shouts out to the Saints for getting <laughs> a fellow from Alabama named Kool-Aid McKinstry. McKinstry. He's a cornerback, but supposedly he's pretty good. Saban was talking highly about him. But, um... It sucks cooking in this car and some of my other like stealth car camps I could open up and do it but I don't want to draw too much attention since I'm on the top level of a parking garage so I bought me some brother's chicken and a cold drink so I'm about to get in the um stations and um you know eat my chicken and I may get some skyline footage but yeah I don't want it to get cold thank you Jay and Knight for this challenge I hope y'all like the footage I have. It's kind of like a little tour in New Orleans, you know. I kind of like that to show off our city, you know. The NOLA. So I might move, y'all. So you see this little, um, like, line. So this is some sort of antenna for, um, oh, what is it? For, um, not singular, uh, Verizon. And they're like, hey, you don't want to stand in front of it. You don't want to touch it. You don't want to um, be in front of it. So I think I'm a little too close to this line. So I think I'm going to move over to this little column over here. Because I don't want to catch cancer or whatever it may be from this little thingy here. Y'all look at the Superdome in the background or the Caesar Superdome. It's pretty, the skyline. Y'all don't know how long I've been wanting to do this stealth camp. Let me get in the back of there and eat my stuff. My food's getting uh, cold. So here's dinner for tonight. Um, it's the NFL draft, so I'm listening about that on the radio. But um, I just, I had a lazy night and I didn't feel like cooking because I'm in a super urban place and I don't want to have the hatchback open for a long time because I don't quite feel safe cooking inside this vehicle just with the windows cracked. So, some uh, Brothers Fried Chicken. Often imitated, never duplicated. It's a local chicken thing and uh, they're pretty good. It ain't. It's some chicken strips and fries, you know. But uh, it beats a backpacking meal, I'll tell you that. Three piece and some fries with some seasoning on it. So let me get to putting some down and I'll bring y'all back when I start to lay down for tonight. So good morning, y'all. It's uh, a little bit after five. I'm kind of slow to get up. I woke up a couple of times, but it's par for the course on these stove camps. Um, This was all right. Like I, I use this little yoga mat for some reason instead of one of my mats actually i know why because like my it's not long enough for my uh, sleeping mats 
Um, I had a good night's sleep. I had a good time walking around the corner, being a tourist in my own city. Um, would I do this again? Yes. Would I do this here again? No. I would need another spot. Maybe something with a little bit more grass to it. But yeah, let me uh, let me start getting up. So um, I don't think I told y'all this last night, but coming back in here, so this garage, you need to have like this ticket, and you have to get it validated, and it prints out another ticket. So I walk in the lobby, and they had a lady sitting there, and she spent five minutes telling me how to use the ticket, and then I had to go by the machine and kind of fib it a little bit and act like I was using it for a little bit and then uh, then come up to my car and sleep but here's um I want to give a shout out to the Aussie 12 I like the videos it's cool it's a different change of area from where I'm at go check them out but yeah it's about 5 30 time to crawl out the car and really go get my ticket validated and uh, I might get just a little bit more night shots since it's still just 5.30 in the morning. But yeah, check out this. Uh, so I went to Walmart yesterday. Chargeable fan with a ring light in it, which is, it's big, yes. It'll be good for car camping and um, like with, with Lucy and, and Mama Bear. But yeah, I hope you can hear me over the fans. But um, it, it was good. It wasn't. It wasn't too hot last night, you know. It was probably in the 70s. But 100 degree weather's on its way, y'all. Um, tomorrow it's supposed to be 90. But yeah, let me let me get this. Uh, let me blow this popsicle stand because I gotta hurry up and edit this. It seems like for a little bit in the morning the city kind of calms down, but early this morning I still heard um, sirens and and stuff to that extent but yeah so far it's a successful stealth camp thank you for setting this challenge day and night um check out the aussie 12 um y'all know the the role like comment subscribe and don't catch something bad from a verizon like tower thing that they said don't even stand in front of so i'm a back up from and there's a the little emergency placard thing so originally I parked right here and I'm like, no, I don't want to sleep in front of it. But yeah, catch y'all on the next adventure. Thank you, Jay and Knight. Um, this is Outdoorsman reporting to you live from downtown New Orleans. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Thank y'all for watching. Oh, it's kind of peaceful. And it feels good. One last thing, uh, the little tickets that we used months and months ago when we did the job still work, so I didn't have to pay for this stuff camp, but I would have. But yes, that, that's a little icing on top. Catch y'all on the next one. And the lady wasn't down there to grill me while I'm back down there, so a successful stealth in the books.